How's everybody doing? This is Anesthesia Tech Tony Pang, and I'm dropping one more video about the waste anesthesia gas disposal. Now, of course, uh, this refers to that hospital that I told you guys that I worked at that had um, all of their anesthesia gas machines configured wrong when it came to um, waste anesthesia gas. What they did was they had the vacuum hose hooked up to the scavenger system. Now, um, in almost every OR except for maybe one. But I explained to them the problems and the situations and, and the leaks and stuff, that the, the possible hazards. And uh, they would come back with, you know, one argument after the other. Oh, you know, there's a study that says that this is not a problem, that's not a problem. So we went back and forth until I got tired. I got tired. I said, listen, I'm not going to argue with you guys anymore. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to save you money. I'm trying to save you from getting lawsuits and so on and so forth. I was like, because, you know, at the end of the day, um, this is a nightmare waiting to happen. So I said, you know what? I'm done. My last argument, my parting argument was this. I said, look, there's a reason why they created the diameter index safety system. This system. They created that system so that as a fail safe, so that, you know, no hoses could be crossed. You couldn't get, you couldn't mix it up. And they even color coded each hose for a reason. And then, you know, certain hoses like the waste anesthesia gas hose, they would reinforce and have special um, valves and so on and so forth in it. Now, <clears throat> they said that there's nothing wrong and we can do, they can do this here in the United States. And I said, yes, according to, the, you know, studies and write up. Yes, they say yes. Um, even though there is a chance that it can cause fires if the waste anesthesia gas um, and the oxygen mix together, so on, it's it, that's possible. But that's talking about the hospital. I'm talking about the um, the hospital and the and the um, pumps in the hospital. I'm talking about the patients and the people working in the OR. So I brought it back. I said, look, every major. As a matter of fact, not every major, every anesthesia gas machine manufacturer has gone away from you being able to hook up vacuum to the scavenger system. There's only one way. They have put only one valve on there, and that is uh, one connector on there, and that is for the waste anesthesia gas disposal. That's the purple holes. So every anesthesia gas uh, manu machine manufacturer, that's what you're going to have. Every anesthesia gas machine that you have, that's what you're going to have. Now, if you have a vacuum hose hooked up to the waste anesthesia gas disposal, there's only one way you, you can do that, and which is you've jerry-rigged it, did something, you know, did some MacGyverisms or whatever, and changed things. So you have... The, the right outlet, you have the right hoses, and yet you refuse to use them. Why? I said, listen, there's a reason why these anesthesia gas machine manufacturers went to one way, went to the waste center, because it's a better way, and at the end of the day, no liability. Hey, they, they gave you good product. They gave you the right way. Now, what you do with it afterwards, that's on you. They don't want the liability. So I, I said, I, so I fall back. I'm, you know, I've given you good advice based on my education, based on my study, based on my experience, based on the, my job. My job is to protect that patient and protect my coworkers in the OR. I did that. You don't want to change because you, because you got a biomed that, it's too lazy or whatever, or you got, you know, other anesthesia techs and other anesthesia personnel that has been working with you for 50 years or 100 years or whatever the case may be. And they don't want to, you know, they don't want to change because they don't want to either look wrong or they think they know everything. Go right ahead. But at the end of the day, when that, when, when that perfect storm happened, you're going to be calling, you're going to be thinking, you're going to think back and you're going to be like, you know what? We wouldn't have had a $100 million or a class action lawsuit against us if we had just listened. So just do what you're supposed to do. Do what's right. 
It's very, very clear. It don't even take a rocket scientist. You don't have to be an anesthesiologist or a neurologist or a brain surgeon to see that if there's only one hose you can hook up to this anesthesia gas machine, then you hook up that one hose. You hook up the right hose. This is Tony Payne, and that's one to grow on.